Hello, Doug here, and today we'll talk about curves and levels using anchor points. Now before we get started into uh, this project here, I want to show you something about using the, uh, the mouse as your zoom scroll bar here. Let me show you how that works. You go to Edit, and you go to Preferences, and under General, you'll see it says Zoom with Scroll Wheel. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to zoom in and back on the image very easily. I highly recommend you set that for your uh, Photoshop if you haven't got that set already. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find the the white and the black point on the image. And each image is, is different so you each, you'll find that your white and black points will be different on, on your particular image. The way you do that is you go under Image, Adjustment, Levels. And here if you slide the the left uh, indicator all the way to the right, you'll notice the image goes completely black. Well, if you take the white part on the levels here and you slide that all the way to the left, it turns completely white. So what we're going to do is we're going to find where the black and the white points are. So we'll first start off with the black or the white point here. We'll slide this over until we just see a star start to appear. And we see a pretty bright star right right here so we'll, we'll try to zoom in on that. The way, the way I do that I'm going to hit this tab key and move over till I get onto the cancel button and then I'm going to zoom in s since I scrolled it with my uh, the scroll bar on my mouse. Now that I'm zoomed in really far I can see the this is like the uh, the brightest white point because it's the first thing that lights up so I'm going to hold the shift key down and I don't know if you can see this or not on here, but this little eyedropper turns into like a little plus sign with a little target next to it, and then you click on it. And now that's created a, an anchor point or a reference that you have marked out on your image. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom back out so we can see the image. And you can see there's like a little target with one on there. Now I'm going to take this, slide it back over again, and now we're going to find the blackest darkest point in the image. And the way you do that is you just slide it all the way over till you see, till you see white and then what I like to do sometimes is I like to uh, use the up arrow key and it'll start increasing it and pretty soon you start to see the, 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 the dark areas, the blackest areas appear first. So what I'll do is I'll pick one of these black areas and again the way I'll, I'll do that is I'll you can see that it's on right here on 11. I'll use the tab key and keep on scrolling until it gets to the cancel button there. Then now I can zoom in. And I'm going to zoom in really deep and close. And I'm going to hold the shift key down. And I'm going to left click it. And we've got a second anchor point. So now we've got a white and a black anchor point on our image. We just cancel out of the levels image right here for right now. And when we go to image adjustment curves you'll notice that the two anchor points we created one and two now appear now how do you how does this work with curves well what you do is you you zoom in on your your point you want to make sure you you click on that the brightest part so I'm zooming all the way in I'm going to hold the control key while holding the left mouse button over that target and now you'll notice that a dot appeared right up here. That's the highest, the the whitest part of our image. Now I'm going to zoom back out again, and I'm going to find the darkest point on the image. And I zoomed all the way in. Now I'm going to hold the control key down, left click the center of that, and you'll notice that it put another anchor point there. Well now what we've done is we've we've said that okay there's nothing that's going to be any blacker than this on 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 the scale and nothing's going to be brighter than this white so when you start stretching it and curving pl placing your curves on it you won't go out of bounds on it so what what I like to do is I like when I first start doing a curve is I like to pick a an area that's kind of faint closer to the uh, the dark end of it down here so what you can do is hold the the mouse and click left click you can see like how when you click, there's like a little uh, shadow of it that appears. Um, what you want to try to do is find one that's pretty dark. There's one right there. You can see it's kind of bouncing up there. So I'm going to hold the control key, left click, and you can see like right here, that's the one that we just placed in there. Now after you've placed that in there, 
uh, what I like to do is I like to use the arrow key and I like to just hit it up about five or six times two three four five six okay now we've applied a curve that's within the range of our image we we from the black and the white points let me just say okay here and you can see the before and the after shot we did enhance it now this process goes uh, through about four or five iterations before you really get a, a, a good uh, image to come out here and after you apply your curves you also want to check your levels so you go to image adjustment levels and as you can see right here it's a little bit off off the end here and what I like to do is I like to like count it from the very left part which is zero right here and go work to where it just starts to hit that first bar so roughly there's about nine. I like to go about halfway, so I'd go like maybe about four or five. You don't want to start clipping your data and going into your uh, data, data like that. You want to bring it on the outside of it so you don't lose any of your valuable data. So I just say OK there. And like I say, you, this is something that you repeat over and over again. I won't bore you with this on the whole image. So well, let me show you what a, a, an image looks like that I've gone through all the steps. Here's the original image first iteration of curves, second iteration, third, fourth. And as you can see after about four iterations of curves it's really uh, brought out a lot of the the detail and using the anchor points will help you stay within your white and black points on your image. So after those four iterations we look like this and before we were looking like this pretty dramatic difference. I wanted to remind you that uh, you can win a coffee mug with your winning image by visiting myastroimages.com. It's very easy to enter. You just go to the website, click on the forums, and you go to the uh, monthly imaging contest, and you just uh, select the current month, and then you can enter your image in and possibly win a coffee mug with your winning image. Thanks very much for watching this. We'll talk to you later.